As spring is in the air, I thought it would be a good idea to create a spring woodland landscape for weekend watercolour. This landscape is fairly easy to create. You will need masking tape, watercolours and salt. So let's get on with the tutorial. So I'm going to show you firstly um, one way of putting the masking tape on and that is folding it to make sure that your edges aren't straight. When you look at a tree you don't have completely straight edges, you have little knots and um, wobbly edges. So we want to make sure that our trees look the same. Um, you could of course use masking fluid for this but I'm just trying to find a way that's a bit easier because um, we want to make this as easy for everyone as possible, especially for beginners. So I'm making my edge wobbly and it might look really strange now but if you imagine what a tree looks like it is not completely straight. Now another consideration to think of um, and imagine that you are looking at a woodland of trees. You could of course get a reference image but as I've said to you before weekend watercolour is all about not having a plan and just doing things from your imagination. So your trees will not be at the same height. You're going to have all different heights of trees. You have some in the distance and some in the foreground. Um, and that's the, you know right in front of you. So I'm going to have a few that are taking up the whole height of the page. And also, um, with silver birches especially, they're quite lightweight trees, so they're not completely straight. So I'm going to have a couple that are kind of leaning over to the side to give a more realistic effect. Now also with the masking tape, um, I have done a clip before on masking tape or tape for watercolour. Um, with masking tape it does stick to the paper sometimes so what you might want to do is just put it on an item of clothing or on a, um, a tea towel beforehand just to make sure it doesn't rip the paper especially if you haven't used the brand before So now that I've added masking tape to represent the trees, I'm now going to start to build up layers to represent the woodland. On the right hand side you will see swatches. These are the colours that I used in today's presentation. And I also used gouache, which I'll, I will show you at the end. I've started by adding a layer of water because I'm going to be using wet on wet technique. And I've added a layer of the purple a layer of hookers green this is to represent bluebells and you'll see in a moment how it all blends together and then what I've done is I've mixed yellow with the green for the leaves at the top I've then sprayed it just to add a bit more water so that all the colors blend together you can then see very quickly how that lightens up um, and you can dry it in between with a hairdryer this is me adding a second layer um, just to darken things up and I will again tilt the page so that um, the colours blend together. Again I will spray the colours on top so that they merge. That gives that blurry appeal. Now to give that effect of the sunlight coming through the trees I'm going to add some salt onto the picture whilst it's still wet. It's really important that you add it whilst it's still wet because then that reacts with the watercolour. Don't add too much just a light sprinkling. You need to leave it for 10 minutes. The temptation is to start fiddling about with it, but leave it for 10 minutes to react and then you will notice that you've got this kind of crackling effect and then you brush it off, but you must wait until it's entirely dry before you start taking that off. You will see now that I'm starting to peel off all of that masking tape and 
The reason for that is because I'm now going to start painting the silver birch trees. So I'm now painting the silver birch trees and I'm going to start painting off the on the details. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Payne's Grey to darken those trees slightly because obviously they look very white at the moment and that doesn't look realistic. So I'm going to wet them down and I'm going to add some Payne's Grey. I'm going to imagine that there is a light source from the left hand side lighting them up and then I will mix some sepia and some Payne's Grey for the details. With those details what I, I have done is I've used a tool that I use sometimes which is a sharpened end of a old paintbrush. The reason why I'm using this tool is just because I want to give a more naturalistic effect for drawing the wood grain on the trees. I'm now picking out some branches in the background using the same tone of sepia and Payne's Grey. enjoyed this clip then make sure you check out more clips like this in the watercolour playlist. Don't forget to look in the description below for details of products in today's clip and if you have any ideas for content or questions leave a comment below. Finally don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future content.